so Jeezy revealed that he thought he was going to die during the making of Thug Motivation. Hey, it's Asia Sky for Hip Hop DX, and check this out. Jeezy shot to fame in the mid-2000s with street-certified projects like Trap or Die and Let's Get It, Thug Motivation 101. But behind that success lurked a darkness that fueled his desire to make it. Jeezy sat down with Yahoo News on Wednesday, July 26, to promote his new book, Adversity for Sale, You Gotta Believe. During the interview, he reflected on his turbulent breakout in music, which coincided with him transitioning from a drug dealer to a full-time rapper. His hustle had earned him a lot of money and notoriety, but with that success came an unshakable paranoia as he swapped the streets for the studio in an attempt to realize his rap dreams. And like his hero Tupac, Jeezy often felt death was around the corner for him. Uh, I mean, I just always loved music. I love, you know, when I was coming up, I loved the Masterpiece, the A-Balls, A-Ball MJGs, uh, the Brat. You know, it was just, my thing was to listen to music before I went to school every morning. And it was just like, but instead of, like a lot of people would just like listen to it because they liked it. I would listen to it because I was I was uh, learning things from it. So those were my books early then because I hated reading back then. So that was, those were like my books. And when I stumbled up on Tupac, it was like, that was a game changer. Because now you got somebody that you're listening to that actually has val values and morals and he stands for something. I ain't never seen no shit like that. So this was like, oh. You know, so this was really, and I really cued in on that. Jeezy said, I just knew that there wasn't no other way if I didn't figure it out. I was going to end up in prison or probably dead like the rest of my friends. A lot of my music was just me wanting to be heard. I was writing my music as if I wasn't going to be there anymore. So I was like, this better be the best I ever said. And so that's what Trapper Die and Thug Motivation was, because I was preparing myself for the worst. And when it popped, I understood. And now I was like, OK, I got to sustain this. I just carried that same energy into all my next projects. So what are your thoughts on Jeezy revealing that he felt like he was going to die around the time that Thug Motivation came out? Let us know in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and stay locked in to Hip Hop DX.